Welcome here to the Pima Air and Space Museum. It's 108 degrees out in the desert, so what better aircraft to talk about than the Mirage? The Dussault Mirage III was one of the iconic Cold War fighter airplanes. It was the first European fighter that could fly past Mach 2 in level flight. The Israelis used it in combat in the Middle East, and the Argentinians used them in combat in the Falklands. In the 1960s, the Swiss government chose the Dussault as their new fighter aircraft. The aircraft was built under contract in Switzerland, but had to have many modifications made to it. Hoist points were put on the aircraft to allow it to be carried inside the caves that they were stored in on the mountainsides. JATO rockets had to be used on it for short takeoffs on Swiss airfields. And the radar and a lot of the avionics were replaced from French air avionics to American avionics. This led to huge cost overruns. The aircraft went over 66% over budget and led to what was known as the Mirage Affair, which essentially meant several high-ranking Air Force officers and government officials lost their jobs over it. The fighter version went into service in 1966 and the reconnaissance version went into service in 69. The reconnaissance version, like the one that we have here, had the radar on the nose replaced with a suite of cameras. It could also carry reconnaissance pod on the underside. It still retained defensive armament, it had two 30 millimeter cannons, and could also use the AIM-9 Sidewinder. The Mirage RSs went out of service in 2003, giving service to the Swiss Air Force 30 plus years. 